Now for those of you who are just starting out and you've uh, learned your bar chords and you're attempting to start using them now, I just wanted to make sure that I included uh, an example of three common songs that, you, that most people have probably heard. Uh, Wild Thing, All Along the Watchtower, and Gloria. Just to give you an example of how these bar chords can be applied and you can start playing something right away. So I've written bar, uh, bar chords out for the song Wild Thing and used the key of A. And I have a diagram next to Wild Thing where you have your A bar chord on the fifth fret, your D bar chord on the fifth fret, and your E bar chord on the seventh fret. This is your E form, A form, root 6, root 5. So, also drawn this out in the key of A. And here we're using an A minor bar chord on the fifth fret, a G major on the third fret, and an F major on the first fret. These are all root six. So. gives you an idea how you can plug in your bar chord information and begin to use these. Okay, so there's three examples for you to try. And I encourage you, get on the internet, uh, you know, pull out records that you like. If you can't figure them out by ear, if you're just starting, that might be kind of hard. There's tons of tablature on the internet. Uh, try to at least get in there and start playing basic chords to where you can get the framework and you can get the rhythms down and play. Don't try to tackle uh, leads and stuff all at once. Leads, we're going to get into that. But, you know, try to get, whenever you go to learn a song, at least get the rhythm down first. Um, get the structure of the song. What's the chord progression? Um, you know, is there a verse, chorus, bridge? Or is it like, you know, a lot of the blues songs or rock songs where it's just one chord progression over and over and over and over? So, you know, get the framework of the song and then move forward with um, learning leads and licks and stuff like that. All right? <laughs> 